You know, and I and I mean to see some niggas literally cry, to be like, nigga, y'all niggas said we wasn't gonna get here, we wasn't gonna do this, and to us, that's all we was ever taught was New York is hip hop, right? So you, you know, got confirmation. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was sold. Yeah. Man. Like it was done. It was, it was, it was done. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. You we did. We conquered. Yeah. Like we conquered. We yeah. conquered the mecca. We like nigga, y'all niggas talking like us, sound like us, dress like us now. Right. It's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, like we, we took over. Yeah, we done took over. Right, right, right. Go ahead with your uh, list, it, bitch. Uh, I ain't, before <laughs> I go into the, since he said what was like one of the most glorious moments, like you know, with I, I got to go with the other side of it. What was something that was like? One of the worst moments that you had, you know, throwing cash money and, you know, like, you know, kind of give me a little details on like something that you felt like, was um, like damn, like, can I make it home? Whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, I, I, when I really decided to leave, that's when Hurricane Katrina hit. So I, 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 I was on the road, me, Rod, Smooth, Wop, and I think Joe. We was in Canada. We was doing my shit. My album had just came out. So Your solo. Yeah, my little, my solo shit. And I wasn't getting no support from dude and them because I was just like, man. I'm, and then on top of that, Hurricane Katrina hit. Yeah, it was well, all displaced, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, we all no displaced. foundation to build off, right? Yeah, and we in Canada, and these motherfuckers tell us New Orleans ain't even there. Right. They like, what, what, what y'all thought was home? Nigga, that shit ain't There's no more. There ain't no more. So we, we trying to fly back. We can't even get back because the fucking shit fucked up. Blah, 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 da, 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 and all of that kind of shit. And I'm going, you know, you, you start second guessing yourself and everything. I'm like, in the midst of this shit, I'm not even fucking with these dudes. I, you know what I'm saying? And this shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Right, real talk. So, get, it only yeah, get bad, right? So when we, <laughs> only get worse. Yeah, we, we get to Houston finally. And just like like you saying, we all this place. Niggas don't know where their mama's at. None of that shit. So that that's... Elevating the shit You don't know where your family at Rise don't know where his family at None of us We just fucked around We And we We caught a plane I think to Dallas And we drove from Dallas to Houston Right You know what I'm saying Cause they was telling us They was gonna bring people to Houston So we We just out there We don't know what the fuck You know what I'm saying Niggas just yeah. And at, at this point You on borrowed money Because you just like This is what I got left out of all of this shit, because I ain't fucking with these niggas. This shit happened, blah, 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 and da, 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 da. You know, and, and, and one of them them times where, you know, sometimes niggas around you get scared. You know what I'm saying? That shit could scare you, because you like, nigga, I got it. Niggas like, man, I don't know what the fuck we going to do now, nigga. Right. This shit real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that moment to me was kind of like that it was good and bad. You know what I'm saying, and I, and I could tell y'all what was my what was my defining moment that really made it all good, and and, and I kind of I I, I kind of always never wanted to say it because it didn't come from New Orleans, but it was confirmation for me because I was like, damn, is this kind of like me turning on my my niggas from New Orleans? But it made me go, I could do this Speaking when the truth. so so. After all of that shit happened, you know, I, I, Jay Z hit me up, and you know, and that nigga was like, "Man, I got a bag for you." You know, just fuck, I fuck with you. Right. So Jay hooked me up with some money or whatever, give me a, a little gig, and that nigga leave. Like you saying, it, it could get fucking worse. This one, he left Def Jam. Right. The 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 day I I get up there to take the job, that nigga leave in the middle of the night. The motherfuckers is like, fuck you. You knew Jay was leaving. Right, like, yeah. almost like you knew the inside. Yeah, you right. knew the inside. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't doing nothing for your ass. Wow. So you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on Def Jam for like a year and some change. Them motherfuckers just gave me my check. They ain't, they ain't let me put out no records, none of that. Them motherfuckers was like, you knew Jay-Z was leaving. Right. You know what I'm saying? You paid a part yeah. of it. Right. But, um, but... What he did was right on time because that nigga big brothered me. You know, that nigga was like, nigga, I know what's going on in New Orleans. I'm about to give you this bag and I'm yeah, out this and I'm bitch. And I'm out of here, but, but I'm going to set you up. I'm going to set you up. Yeah, he was like, but your contract is solid. That was gangster. You know what I'm saying? So, that's something people yeah. really don't know. Right? Yeah, right. he was like, but your contract is solid. Right. So, but I'm still going, nigga, I know who I am. I need to put some songs out. I da, love da, da, da. producing. Yeah, I love producing. So they, they pretty much blocked all of that shit. Now... You talking about the, la the label? Yeah, yeah the label. Def Jam. The label blocked all of that shit. Now, Nobody, some people never knew you even Yeah, a lot of people didn't Def even Jam. know I was on Def Jam because them motherfuckers were like, we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't giving your ass no assistance because Jay-Z is your dude and that nigga left to start his shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm just like... They try to make you hurt yeah. on behalf of his decision. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, so the crazy thing is, fast forward, then we get Jeezy and then what? You know what I'm saying? And I do that song... 
and Jeezy was in what's the group? The um the um the dudes that that they was all in the group um Puffy Nut group, boys, whatever boys, the fuck. Uh, boys, 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 in the boys in the hood. Boys in the so hood. you know, that was that that was their group. Like, you know what I'm saying? But in the midst of him being in that I did and then what, right? So and then what is taking off on the fucking streets? Like you know what that I'm bitch saying? Is crazy. Now <laughs> I, 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 I I'm in Atlanta grinding, trying to get my shit straight, and I come back to New Orleans because Boys in the Hood is doing a concert at the House of Blues, right? So uh, but he gonna debut the and then what song? So nigga, we at the House of Blues, Boys in the Hood, rock that bitch, blah blah blah, and these niggas don't even know Jeezy gonna do the shit. He didn't even say the shit to him. You know what I'm saying? Which is their business. I didn't even know. Right. He just tell me, nigga, I'm gonna do the song. Right. The nigga done the song, and everybody in that bitch went crazy. Everybody in that bitch went crazy that night. I ain't gonna even lie, nigga. I was crying my ass off. Cause you know, yeah, I was like, that's confirmation. you are this nigga. Yeah, it's gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna go. It's game time. With or without without anybody. Cause niggas was like, you you ain't gonna do this without these niggas. You can't do this without these niggas. That's how I felt. Yeah, but some day do you wake up be like, even though shit went left. In, in, in your good now But th- What is some days You wake up like Man I shouldn't have Shouldn't have moved like that I shouldn't have Nah uh uh-uh. uh I think No it was, regrets it was, Yeah no regrets No regrets dude You can't get to Where you need to go at You know what I'm saying I, I wish it would have worked out But I don't have no regrets Because right. You gotta think about it Nobody don't wanna say this shit But it's sometimes God made you to go the long way Right That nigga tell me that all the time Yeah all the time Right 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 you ain't uh, some niggas. It come easy. Some niggas, you know, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be right if it come easy. That's I feel what I'm like, saying, like dog. it ain't gonna be <laughs> right. Work extra, you gotta bro. work right. extra at this shit. Right. It ain't gonna be. It right. It only bring nigga. the best out of you, yeah. bro. And I think it's designed that way, you know, to to, to, to work that way. Uh, before we get out here, I got a few more. Just give me a few more names, bro. all right? Because this means something to me, bro. I I, I want to know how you feel about these people because these people mean something to me. I got a few more names. Me X. Oh, sister. Sister. Throughout, yeah, that's 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 the six, yeah, to the beginning, day. yeah, mm-hmm. right, KLC, shit, my brother as well, you know what I'm saying, man, right. this nigga always speak up on each other, right, though. and that's funny that you, know you were you was with Cash Money, you was with No Limit, yeah. but the bind between y'all was yeah, still, you know what I'm saying, you you can't tell me nothing about KL, you know what I'm saying, Jeff B, man, oh Jeff is my dog, you know what I'm saying, he make it happen, yeah, he make it happen, <laughs> you know, and he leave all the other shit out of it, you know, I, I had to. Learn the hallway just like a lot of us. Like the the, one, the first thing Jeff came along with was you got to kill a fucking entourage. You know what I'm saying? And right. I did because a lot of us we want to take everybody with us. Right. You know what I'm saying? And 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 sometimes you don't see that we not the same people. And you got to think this nigga gave me a scenario that was so crazy. You know, and and, and just so you could know, and I know everybody been there. So we was going through some pictures at my house, a picture book, right? And in, in my picture book, the same niggas w- was with me every time, different houses. Right. And he was like, bro, look how long, you know, y'all been doing this shit. Right. Some of these people work. Some of these people just with you. Right. You just got these yeah. motherfuckers with just you. Tagging and I had to realize that, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm at my end. Two more people. Rude Jew. Oh, fuck. I've been knowing Jew since a kid. Knowing his daddy. Never so, you know. That. Yeah, I've been knowing, you know, it just, it did, our relationship did not start with just him emceeing. He used to be at, you know, like at the crib, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. His daddy grew up with us. So Jude and him used to come play in the scatter sites in the seven wall where we stayed when it, when him and his sister were kids. Okay. So I've been knowing him since like a kid, like, you know, and the, the, what's, what's crazy is he is the exact replica of his dad. That's what's so fucking fa- fascinating to me. Right. The way he act, everything. All of that shit was his dad. That, Personality, right, right. all of that shit. Right. That's major. Last person. DJ Watt. Bro, you already know. Soft spot. Brother for life, dog. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah you right. know. Yeah. Um, rest in peace. Anything, First of all, rest in peace to DJ yeah, Watt. Anything that's going on with me... I still feel like nigga, that's that's my day starting. Like nigga, wop, we did this, right? You know what I'm saying? And there ain't too many niggas, you know, that you could solidly say has been your friend, like your From day, day one, day one nigga. right? And, and, well, and y'all held still, it all the way. Yeah, yeah, still held all it all the way. way. And it's, it's it's a hard thing. Think about this: it's a hard thing for a nigga to be in the shadow a lot of times and be and play his part and just be like, well, I'm not that nigga. That's him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and 
that 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 like I seen so many relationships break up with niggas because behind, of that. Because right. of that. Because you get in a spot like yeah, you not. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. And WAP solidly would be like, nigga, that's fresh with that shit. Do your thing, yeah. right? And and that taught me a valuable lesson because it don't matter what you got, nigga. If you happy in your spirit. You know, you happy. And, and we have learned your era is the last era. Believe this, nigga, when I tell you this. A nigga could have $10,000. If a nigga family straight and all of that, nigga happy. Real talk, bro. Nigga good. Real talk. These niggas go overboard. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's right. just like dogs. You enough, know what I'm ain't, saying? enough ain't never enough. Yeah. Enough right. ain't never enough. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you got to think, man, WAP left this planet. We're going, hey, bro, I got $30,000 saved up. Get that shit to my sister. Make sure she good, nigga. And, you know, done. I'm good. Yeah. He was like, my other shit, I need you to do it. Just the fact that, nigga, on what you've been doing, you had $30,000 saved up, nigga. You a real nigga. Real time. You know what I'm saying? Right, you a right, real right. nigga. And, and what's even nuts, my brother just passed away. Fish, right? Fish, yeah, we, right, we, right. We, we was arguing with, with some of his people over what they feel like I should have done. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, bro, y'all... What, what, what the world don't get sometimes And it's just some real shit Was we brothers? Yeah, but we were stepbrothers You know what I'm saying? I right. didn't grow up with fish Fish didn't grow You know, but when we saw each other We treated each other yeah, as yeah, brothers. brothers Right, it was always love It was always love But you can't, you know, count my pockets When whatever your, whatever your lifestyle is Whatever you choose Whatever path you choose to do That's your path Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So your path got to sustain you. Mine got to sustain me. Yeah, everybody yeah. feel entitled. Right, yeah. right. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? And people around. Sometimes even the person is the people that's around that's them. Broke. That's your brother. You should. Yeah. He and him is the people around yeah. him that make him feel like he should be entitled to. Yeah. Sometimes a nigga don't be having or in a situation that you think on the outside that a nigga in to do for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Right, right. Hey, fresh, bro. Like I said, bro, you ain't had to do this. Man, uh, we good, bro. It's, we it's good. Sincerely, bro, appreciate you for coming to rock with us, dog. This shit mean a lot to me, mean a lot to me, the dog. Right, and, real uh, talk. Yeah. We appreciate it, bro. Before we get out here, bro, it's something that you won't say me, that we ain't say. Listen, up. bro, I, I I said this before, over and over. I don't know what kind of meeting or what kind of gathering we got to have with some of these young niggas that's coming up in this city, bro. But they got to at least sit down because you got to think, bro. Our shit was built on We are in charge of If something happens to a nigga We take care of it Whatever However our community come together When why pass Y'all niggas was there right. You know what I'm saying And so on This generation Don't give a fuck about none of that we, we, we still need that bond We still need that You know And even like Let's say for essence I'm fighting for shit For niggas here I'm like, man, you can't come to our city and keep on bringing these out of town. And, and, I put and you, none you, you ain't putting none of us on. Right, real talk. You ain't putting none of us on. But if you're a young dude, you got to come to our meeting too because we need you sometimes to voice that. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? As you, a whole. As a whole. As a, I'm like, you right. can't come to my city, bro. Yo, what all us stand yeah, for. Exactly. All us stand for yeah. this, right? Not just the old heads, not just the young heads. All us stand for that, right? We got to come together yeah. for that, right? I agree. You know, we done had gigs where, you know, like, where, where been trombone shorty? Like, Troy, like, man, I got partners in crime. I got man, yeah, I that. got jewelry. I got da-da-da. And he's like, man, I know this circle going to work. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I'm trying to tell anybody that's like, listen, bro, you got to put some of these niggas on. You can't just be out here going like, nigga. It's all about me. Yeah, it's all about me. Right. <laughs> and all of for this shit to work, you know why we've been working so long? Cause we figured this shit out. We get a, we we get along. Yeah, right, right, we right. get along, nigga. We figured this shit out to make it work. That's yeah. the only way it gonna work. Yeah. One more thing before we get out of here. When can partners in crime get a manny fresh track? I, I think Jeff even told y'all. This. I know it's coming. Yeah, but I, I got a confidence, bro. I, I want the people to know it's coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. So right. it's been a minute, but it's yeah. coming. We 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 got shit. You know, that's one of the things I love about Jeff too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he gets he structured stayed, on he stayed shit. on it, right? Yeah, he yeah. stayed on it. You yeah, he know let me I'm know saying? that. Look, we still working on the song, Bum B, you, y'all, you know, yeah, or whatever, like yeah. that, right? Mm-hmm. I heard the beat. I so just he negotiated it. with a company to to pay artists. And I'm just like, bro, I just don't want niggas to show up. I don't care if it's, you know, minimal. You know what I'm saying? At least you know what your shit doing. Like, yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? And in and, and the way, what my lessons were, what I learned from doing this, let's just say we go do a song right now. 
I want you to have your shit right. I got my shit right. So you ain't got to count on your shit coming to me. Right. It's, it's, your it's shit going to come to you. Right. Yeah, it's, it's already, already done. Right. You know, and, and that's one of the things that's that I'm business. big on telling Jeff. Before you do this, bro, make sure everybody getting their shit. Right. I don't they, want their shit to come to you. You got to pay them. No. Your shit come to you. Right. Your shit shouldn't come to me. It should right. come to you. Right. You should be able to log in and you see what's going on. Just like I can log in. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, talk. And, and, I, and, and that's where we at right now with this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Structuring he told me he was getting it straight. He yeah. told me that. Right. He said we just had to get the business straight on it. And now that we got the business kind of in line, like, man, he wants y'all to come out, you know, to the Yeah, because I told him what's my concept. And, I, and, I, and I'll tell you why we here. The concept is this. So I told him, with everything in New Orleans, as far as bounce, I want to do a reckless weekend. And reckless weekend will be like, nigga, we, we going to lock in on the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I don't care if we come up with six to a thousand songs. Whatever we come out with, that's what we putting out. Right. Now, how we going to win, and everybody got to be in agreements. This is going to be something different. It happened in the past, but niggas ain't doing it now. If, if we have eight songs, we ain't selling them songs for no more than $4. $4, you buy everything. You don't buy one song. You buy everything. You buy everything. That's the standard. It's going to be $4. You, don't, you can't download one song. One song. You got to download all whole, this shit. And, what that, and what that does is when people buy it, they know all of the fucking songs. Right, right, right. right. So when it's time to perform it, they already know all of the songs. I didn't, I, I didn't let you buy one fucking song. Right. You know what I'm it's saying? It's almost like you had to buy the album yeah, for the single. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I, I'm going to price it right where you could get it. It's $4. It's affordable. Right. It's, it's affordable. Right. Now, the pushback going to be sometimes people going, well, damn, bro, this is a whole album. It don't matter. Do you want to get this shit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, is you and, buying it yeah, or you're not? Yeah. Right. Now, our other part of, of it is this. Publishing. This is some shit me and Jeff to figure it out. We didn't got to. When it comes like like what I told you with Juvie, when it comes to y'all, sit everybody down and say, listen, bro, I don't know what you've done in the past and I don't know who own it, but I know how this shit makes money now. Numbers. It ain't about the sales, it ain't about none of that. So if I say to you, let's set up a company right now and it's your company, but nigga, you need to drop music like crazy. Right, you just go just, just, just go just release. Just go just go release. Even if it's not from me. I'm just the platform to give you the, 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 outlet. the, the outlet to go and do it. And with that and, and and what you gonna do at the end of the year, go to somebody and say, Well, I wanna sell all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're gonna do a deal and keep repeating that deal. Basically, if if say like you have one song that jumped off and, and, and Spotify won't use that, the more songs you got, the more bargaining power you got. Right, you like well now. Nah, I, I don't want y'all to just use my one song. By the, I want y'all to use by the whole. Yeah, yeah. So, so you can you, you you count that shit as rent now. Y'all can rent my whole fucking catalog quarterly. You know what I'm saying for right. twenty thousand dollars. Right, up front. Up front, y'all can use all of this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying. But and you got to think about right. if you got Spotify, you got Apple Apple Music, you got Title, and all these other motherfuckers. Streaming. Once you get the numbers right. You got you got leverage. That you got leverage. You got bargaining power. Yeah, right, you, right, you, you right, know what I'm right. saying. To and make anything happen. Yeah, right. and nobody ain't telling us that until we figure the shit out on our own. Because I'm like, That's how's these game. niggas making money? And ain't nobody buying no records. It ain't based on buying records. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we From talk about right. all the time. It ain't based right. on, on. We on, talk about yeah. what's the value of these streams. Yeah. Right, right, right. It ain't based on that shit no right. more. It's based on like a rent thing. It's right. based on if, if Spotify want to use your music, the most songs you got. The more you could bargain, you know what I'm saying? Right. And say like, "Fuck y'all! I don't want y'all to just use that one. Y'all can use all of this shit." But gotta give me this. Yeah, but y'all gotta give me this. And you end up on one of them playlists. Yeah, oh, it's over. Yeah. yeah. yeah so over. the money is in that shit. And right. look and, and, and look around. How many young niggas is selling their pub and even old motherfuckers? Yeah, and everybody, everybody going off. Yeah, everybody getting, getting off. off. It don't. It don't have no value no yeah, more like that. Right. It don't have no value. Like no nobody buying records. You know. Right. What, you know what motherfuckers is doing? You take like a future. You take a young boy. They they'll say I'm selling this shit. Then I'm gonna start this whole company over again tomorrow with some right. new shit. With some new shit, right? And, that's the the, old, and repeat yeah, the same thing. And repeat thing. the same thing right. over, and over, over and over again. Over right. and over again. That's that's the value. That's man. the value of it. I like that. I totally understand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> totally so if, understand. I, if I say, nigga, you're going to do 10 songs with me, but after that, I don't give a fuck who you doing songs with. Keep doing them. You got to right. evolve with this shit, Keep though. doing them. You right. know what I'm saying? Keep doing That's good game that you're dropping you right to, now because yeah. I don't think people understand that side of it. Yeah. Trash, that's so dope. Like, I'm glad I'm a part of it, y'all. Hear me? I'm a part. You got to evolve with this shit, yeah. bro. Right, right, right. right. So, when, so when, when it's time for you to do your pub deal, that's your music. That's right. all your shit. 
Right. You could choose to rent it out or you could choose to sell, sell it. it. And right. it's a lot of motherfuckers cashing out because they like, oh, I could do this shit again tomorrow. Right. So y'all I can have all that. Y'all, y'all can have all that. And I'm about to do, do this it shit again. again. Right. I get it. I'm about to do this shit again. You know right. what I'm saying? Because right. I'm. I, I, it took me a, forever to figure out what the fuck ain't nobody buying no records. What is how, how they making money? money? Yeah. yeah. How they make money? Yeah. Right. Right. I yeah. didn't understand it either. Like the streaming shit, I totally didn't understand yeah. it. But what you breaking down right now make all the sense. My my shit comes from. Me um, licensing out records and me renting out my catalog. And receiving that, that yeah. payola. Yeah, <laughs> right. to say like, oh, nigga, you got 600 songs? I'm like, I got 600 songs. How much do y'all want to pay Spotify to use it quarterly? Y'all can use the whole fucking catalog, all of it. You know what I'm saying? Then how me much going to Apple Music, pay? Tidal. If you got seven companies like that, that you doing that, you know that's mailbox money. Real talk, it's coming a quarter. Like, it's Every coming. quarter. Every quarter. It don't quarter. matter if nobody hit... None of that shit. They just paying for the music. Yeah, right. It, that's that's the to have accessibility. Of it. Yeah, to have the accessibility to have it up. Right. Yeah, they paying exactly. for that. Right. Exactly. Big money. Right? Yeah. yeah. That should become passive. Y'all hear it? <laughs> yeah. Y'all hear it right here. Yeah. No that's that's that nigga podcast. Y'all that, that that talking about making money in this real street. game. Is that what a nigga talking coming about? Coming from the goat. You hear it? I hope y'all taking notes. The best producer, best it's beat maker like, you know, in the world. Right. Real talk, bro. A lot of these young cats, the ones who, who figuring it out, know know that that part of the game. They like, well, shit, you got to sell this shit off. This shit ain't worth. Yeah, nothing. it ain't holding no value. Yeah. With me, right. The other thing before we get out of here. Hip hop and, and and just as a whole, man, we gotta hold niggas accountable. We can't keep letting everybody in this shit. Talk that no shit. No other no other genre of music do that. Allow you know anybody in. Allow like, any, we, we allow anybody in this shit. Like we used to run that? niggas off. Like like what do Fred? Like what do Fred? Just some bullshit. Just some. You know what I'm saying? Like wait, how this nigga? Who the fuck is this? Like what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Right. We 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 would allow that to happen sometimes to be like okay we'll we'll take the rap and dupe the that was a fast song the but now we got the now we got too many of them motherfuckers right we right got too it, many it, they watering yeah, the game they down they watering the fucking game down I agree brother. Hey, hey, niggas, niggas We ain't hey, put hey, no hey, value hey. in it, right? We gotta start running them niggas off, hey, man. Oh, man. That's come from a nigga who really, really loved this shit. Oh, and really do it. Yeah, and really, really have I'm done it. it. Right, right, yeah. right, right. You can't tell your kids something. Just just hit me, nigga, as a bad. And the most horrible song in the world come on the radio, and they, you just like, nigga, y'all niggas. Y'all like crazy. that? Y'all yeah. Like that shit. yeah. The fuck is that? <laughs> right, right. We allowing the game to get yeah. sloppy. It's all love, Fresh, man. Let the people know your Instagram before we get out this bitch and where the fire yeah, and all your Everything is Manny Fresh, dude. Uh, I'm on fucking Christian Mango. Black people meet all that. Manny Fresh. Everything Manny Fresh. Hold on. Can a nigga still hit you up on the hotline? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's still that's still popular. That shit, be so that shit kind of, you know, that that, that was something, something to do that Jew had that he hooked me up with. It's, it's something weird with it, but it's still active. You know what I'm saying? So, right, yeah, yeah, it's still open. Right, 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 right. I ain't lying. I tried to call that bitch a few times. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. right. And man, put a come on and really talk to you. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Fresh said that all the hot boys, that nigga BG, was really living what the fuck he was rapping. Right, 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 right. right. I, I, myself, I already always. Felt like that, you know what I'm saying? Not far as he, he the only one. I, I just never even got that far. I'm just talking about specifically BG. I already felt like, you know was, what I'm saying? He was into the shit that he talk about. Right, right, right. right. Just, just uh, being in jail with a lot of niggas from all VL and shit that no, just yeah, knew him and just be you know talking that VL shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I already figured that, but. You gotta be, you gotta be living like that for a nigga sometime to feel you and to make you grow. I'm talking about in the city of New Orleans, cause a nigga, nigga respect street credibility before anything when you fucking with music down here. Right, yeah, they gotta feel like you're authentic, like you. Right, yeah. right, right. But the downside to the whole shit is when you're living like that, you might fuck around. And be in that box. Yep, Eventually. Or, or you know what I'm yeah, saying? Either way, get killed. Or get killed or be gasping for your last breath somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Come with it. Right, right. So so if you don't do that shit, cause half of the time though, niggas who be rapping that shit like that, I wouldn't say that it's all the way made up. 
Because every person, don't matter if you're a street dude or you're doing certain street shit, you always got some cousins or some brothers or some friends that's around you that you still cool with that you know, you know, the lingo, the street terms. Yeah, the, you can get it You know from. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you might be talking about drugs. You know how much these grams is, you know. Right. And you just sell that story. That's why a lot of niggas be saying when they get in touch with their partner, they, they, when shit go left and they expose he, niggas, he nigga rapping like my life. Yeah, he ain't Nigga like rapping my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. For them reasons right there. Right. Man, niggas be tied up with that, you know what I'm saying? Um, the difference with, with, with BG compared to some of the other artists, you know what I'm saying? I remember BG being, when they first came out, you know, and before I even had met him or anything like that, people was already saying, boy, that boy be getting loaded. Like, you know, or he really, you know, like some shit that happened in the 17th Ward and, you know, his name was implemented and then I was like, damn, like, dude living like that, he was just like a little kid, like, to me around that time, you know what I'm saying? So as shit started coming out by the time that Chopper City had hit, he was all the way turned up, like, you know what I'm saying, at that time. See, when the, when the Bee Gees first came out, it was him and Lil Wayne or whatever trying to do something. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was Soldier Slim because at people, if, if you could think back, you know what I'm saying, Soldier Slim used to rap exactly the same way that BG rap. Like, you know, like, you know, it's almost like when Soldier Slim went to jail, um, he came back home with a different uh, floor, a different style of, of rap. But the way BG was rapping, that's the way Slim was rapping way before, you know, I even heard of a, a, a BG. So, you know, I remember we was at Club Rumors one time and um, Slim doing this little thing. He got in the car with us. I had a little cutlass run that time. He got in the car and, um, I was like, say, Slim, man, what are, you know, why you dissed us? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Say, you fuck with me, man. You, you know, you, I know you on, you, he wasn't signed to uh, Cash Money, but I'm like, you go and do a little song, a little project with him with, called the Bee Gees, and, and you was dissing us on it. He was like, that ain't me, man. That's my, that's like my little son, my little, you know. And I'm like, you know, I, you know, I took it for what he said, but he sounds so much like Slim that I thought it was Slim. I ain't even, you know, know it was BG. And then when, when Slim went and did his little what time. What did he say? Nothing, you know, uh, on the Bee Gees, you know, I, f- I forgot the the, the 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 lyrics or whatever, but, you know, there was dissing us on it. Like, you know, at the time, him and Lil Wayne. And um, the way he was just flowing, it just sounded exactly like Soldier Slim. Like, it was Magnolia Slim at the time. Right, sounded right. just like that. I was like, man, this, that Slim, I, even when Slim got out the car, I said, can't go, man, I'm telling you, that's fucking Slim, bro. He going under alias name, and he dissed us, like, you know what I'm saying? Right, you know, right. Oh, I, wow, I, that was BG. That was BG. And, and I ain't find that out until Slim went to jail, and then, they, you know, BG start, started moving. Right, right. Rest in peace, Soldier Slim, man. Yeah. Hey, I, sometimes I be thinking about that shit, like, even if a nigga uh, got caught or got away, you know what I'm saying? When, when a nigga be kill, killing the, you know, a stand-up nigga, a made nigga who meant something to you know, to to the people in New Orleans, like I be wondering, where the fuck them people at? You know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, I'm talking about not where they at physically. I'm talking about their mind. Mentally. You Mentally. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what you think about that, dog? Like a nigga knowing, like whatever it was, like some just say sometimes if it's a hit, uh, you just did it just for some other shit. Whatever <laughs> benefits that you reap, it, it didn't last this long to to date. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. The money or whatever, yeah. then, it, it, you ain't got it right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just think people be caught up in the moment of what it is. You know, some people, uh, the stripe is, is big to people too. You know what I'm saying? But the stripe is unnoticed because you don't, you don't... I mean, well, the people that know him know he did. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, fact, and, and fact. That's, 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 that's glorifying amongst his peers. Like, you know what I'm saying? My dude did that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You know, if a nigga took a hit, the money that he made... It, it 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 was for, for for you know that's what he did it for he needed that money at the time and it whatever uh you know things that it covered that's what it was good for like you know what I'm saying at the time I had to do that because I needed to you know bust these little moves that I need to bust and he had to go you know what I'm saying because you gotta you gotta understand this too sometimes when people you know get somebody to go do something for them they been and already sold him like he violated them to the max anyway so you know uh, a lot of those guys already be having in their mind that. He's supposed to get it, like you know what I'm saying, like you know for what he did. He's supposed, to, you know, that's how they feel because the person that's probably sending the dude out there on them, then already gassed him. Besides, with just the money on why it have to happen, you know what I'm saying, like so niggas be having that double vengeance, the money and you know whatever the nigga sold him on to to, to, to pull off the act. You they know what gotta live with that though as they grow older. You know what I'm saying, even if they got away with it or in jail, niggas gotta live with that and. I know that shit fuck with you, dog, and it comes sometimes. I be I be wondering, do it come to your senses? Like, 
I ain't had to do that type shit. What I'm saying, like, I'm quite sure some people done uh, came to you know a realization because a lot of people like you know they don't have they don't have as many killers just a natural killer. They got a lot of people that got to get yeah yeah you know, right drugged up and shit to go pull off some of these acts. So sometimes nigga probably come down off them highs. They probably be like, damn, man, I'm tripping. Like, especially if they're in jail or, or some other shit. But just living with it, like, on your own. Going through life, losing people, losing friends, the whole nine. You feel the pain, too. Like, you feel like how I feel to lose your partner. So that's just start Thanks. making sense on what you done did. Like, you know what I'm saying? You be like, damn, I, you know. You know, and I think everybody got a conscience or, or a guilt. No matter what you did. Yeah, yeah like, like you got a heart, too. You know what I'm saying? You got feelings. You care about somebody. You know what I'm saying? They be acting like the heartless niggas don't love nobody. And I, and I, don't, I don't believe that. I think they love somebody, they mama, somebody they love. You know what I'm saying? They girl, they kid, somebody. And I just think that, you know, your conscience might tell you, like, you know, man, this shit might not come back to me, but it might come back to somebody I love, like, you know, like, like. Right, right, right. And sometimes, you know, especially when you're trying to get a nigga to do something, like, you never gonna know the real reason behind why you doing it. And that, that, that's why you only can see the money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because a nigga could, nigga could want extra nigga out for other reasons. It could be a lot of shit. Competition on the street, competition, right. you know what I'm saying, in the rap music. It could just be so much shit where I'm feeling like when this nigga around, I'm, I'm not even comfortable, you know what I'm saying, because he a nigga I can't tip, he a nigga that could expose me. Exposed, it's, right. it's, it's different shit where right. nigga just try to use the money to right. capture you to go fuck with that. Right. But if a nigga really be on point, nigga, first thing nigga should say is, like, why the fuck? You don't go. You don't go. Right. Because some of them niggas don't really be built like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, don't, I don't think, you know, everybody Everybody that hustle ain't no killer. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that hustle ain't no squeezer. Like, they, they you know, they ain't even, they're not really built like that. They bought the money, but the shit that come with getting that money, they don't always be about it. So some niggas like, like to put people around them that can kind of do that, like for them, like, you know what I'm saying? And that make them feel just as gangster as the niggas that's pulling off the act. I could pay you to do that. You know what I'm saying, and you know that, just, that, that's that's the problem, motherfucker, to be taken. But I don't, I don't look at no nigga who who do that like you like that. Like I, I don't, I don't look at it like you you just as you know real as a killer because you was the nigga who had the money to give it to him. Cause you call, yeah, because you call a shot on it, right? But I, some niggas, I don't look at it the same way either. I look at it like he, he ain't built like that. You catch him a certain kind of way, you're gonna see a whole nother person in him. And 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 sometimes a nigga keep them niggas close because they don't want to become. That's the nigga that'll fuck over you, right? You know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, right? It, so it, I it. send you on the move, send you on the mission. It's more like collateral for before before I before I don't become like stake to you. Uh, I, I giving you just money, make it seem like I'm paying draft or something like that. Uh, just paying money to keep you around me to keep niggas off my ass. I'll just give you a job to do and give you that same money that in my head I think I that should I give paid. you because you just for be you around, around me. yeah yeah just to be around me right yeah it's all game it's, it's like you say this this is a chestnut checkers bro so a lot of those people that's moving like that they they thinking on you at all times like you know what I'm saying it's just that the person that need the money. You know, he, he in a position where I got to get this fucking bread. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no matter, you know, by any means necessary, I got to get this bread. Like, so he going, he going, he, he, you know, he, he, he caught up and he caught up in the action of being, you know, do respect me like that too. He know I'm about that, you know, because everybody want to be the stepper and, you know, like that, yeah. that. That's big clout to people, like, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, in the day and time we're in right now, bro, it don't have no face. You know, when I was younger, we used to could t- p- hand pick, you know, Oh, he 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 bought that or yeah, go your boy like you know they had a Debo like you know what I'm saying like in so many words that we knew what he stood for. Right now, man, you can't. It, it can happen from a kid. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that don't even look like a person that a, a, a pull a gun on you or squeeze on you at all. You know what I'm saying? They don't have no look no more. You know what I'm saying? You used to have a look. And and that I know, bro. Like don't matter. It's just like. If you was a, if you a fast racer or you a fast swimmer or whatever, some I'm I'm saying something legal to make the point that I'm trying to make. As you get older in your mind, you still that fast nigga, right? But but it's it just in your mind, bro. Like 
Nigga, you 45. You ain't running on a fucking track for school no more at 18, my nigga. Right. But you will still talk to a nigga as if, boy, I burn the fuck out you. Right. And you really do feel like that because you knew how you, great you, you was. was. Yeah, right. But you done lost a step now. But you done lost it, brother. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm using that point to compare that to the illegal shit. Bro, you was just like, I'm, I'm using that to amen shit that you saying, bro. They don't even got no face no more. That shit that you did 30 years ago, bro, as every year that passed, my nigga was a nigga that was nine. His years was passing too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, and he, he 19 now. You was 20 and you 45 now. He was fucking nine and he 22, 23. Right. And he that nigga that'll bust your ass. Quick. No, wait, don't even worry about your respect, your credibility. Not, None of it that don't mean, mean like, shit. Yeah, it don't mean nothing. I'm about that too, bro. So you play me wrong, you're going to get it faster than you think because you used to tipping niggas. You used to niggas respecting you for that. I don't respect you for that, bro. At all. And that's where the surprise come in with niggas like, damn, like nigga hit me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you didn't know. I, 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 I was ready. I already know. It's almost like you, you giving up. Nigga already know what you about. So nigga already thinking on you. Way ahead of what you thinking, nigga, respecting you for. Nigga ain't respecting you for. Nigga looking more like, oh, I know he a hitter. I'm going to hit that bitch as soon as he step out the car. Facts. As soon Facts. as he get out the car, I ain't giving him no, we ain't talking, nothing. Like shit that you normally could do. I'm going to go tip this ass bitch ass nigga. I'm going to make him know. Man, that dude looking like, as soon as he get out that car, wow. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, because that shit that you saying, I'm still a fucking fast swimmer. I'm still a fast <laughs> racer. Yeah, you think. But you're really not, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're right. really not that hitter. It might still be in your mind that I'm going to get down. Yeah. That's true. You might you might be a nigga who always going to get down. But this other nigga, like you say, he going to get down. He, he quick on the draw. He, he quick. He quicker. He just more like, I ain't going to give you nigga. Yeah, he and, really, and, you know what And I'm some saying? of the rules that you might have thought that. When you was doing what you doing, like, you know, it went another way. It don't go that way. Yeah, day. nigga, I should have played with your mind still thinking you that fucking fast swimmer. Right. You know what I'm saying? You jump <laughs> about that motherfucking car, nigga, pop your top. Right. Snot, <laughs> box, rock. <laughs> Big facts. Facts, facts. Right. You know what I'm talk. saying? That's how it happened. Right, right. But, but, but a nigga still in their mind, dog. I'm that nigga. Bruh, no lie, dog. I told you this before. When, when, when a nigga was in jail, because, you know, when you when you from the city, I know from people who not from this place, they say the same the same thing, but on an extra level. You know what I'm saying? Of, of the way that I'm about to tell you that I was thinking, a nigga killed Soldier Slim, and all the stories and all the shit and the music of a nigga going out there, a nigga who don't know him. Cause you could be from the city and you still don't know Soldier Slim, yeah, so you, you still you going off. Yeah, you, you still going off. Same thing that That's, outside of yeah, there, right. right. So if, if you ain't that age, you that era in, in that mix, bro. I don't give a fuck where you say you're from. You could have lived around the corner. You still went around that man as a nigga in his era that fucked with him in his age group and around yeah, the shit that they was got, doing. Got down with him. Nope. You, you yeah. could be around the corner and you still just know a nigga for their fucking music. Right. So. When he got killed, I'm like, man, going off the lyrics and all that shit. I just said, I was like, boy, any nigga get killed right. down that bitch. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, if, if that that was one, bro, that made a nigga feel like you're not always on point. Right. You could you, everybody get caught slipping, and it always got a nigga that's willing to do more than you. No matter how real, how how street, or how many cables that you pulled off, it always got a nigga. And now it's it's automatic in you from being 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 from New Orleans and seeing certain shit, and you become numb to a lot of shit. So and you didn't see because you didn't seen a lot of shit. No matter what neighborhood you from from down here, right? So it'll give you some sense of courage, you heard me? Even if it's false courage, if you're not like that for real, but it still give you some sense of courage to be like. I'm living like that. Just from being from any hood down this bitch. You still would be like, I'm living like that because you know, that shit in your neighborhood. You didn't beef. You didn't got into it with niggas. So mm-hmm. you still saying that yeah. I go too. You know what I'm saying? Nigga might don't know me like this, but shit, I go too. Right. A nigga who not from down this bitch with the stigma, of, the stigma already from New Orleans, them dudes wild. Right. But on top of them niggas being wild, for listening to the music, 
them somebody killed one of the wildest niggas as we know yeah, from yeah. the music. So that make the boy, we better not, boy, look like, yeah, New Orleans, boy, like, yeah, we yeah. better not go down that bitch. Yeah, playing with none this of them shit boys, that we like, doing like, and fucking around this bitch. Right, we better not go fuck with that. Right, they already wild and somebody we know they was wild, but from this music shit, we feeling like this the wildest nigga. Right. Yeah, that nigga hit him. Talking about a nigga hit him, right? Yeah, it happens. Bro. So that's when them fucking country boys, niggas from street port, and niggas from this place and that place, like man, bro, it's like that down there. Them yeah. niggas was on that type of time. Them niggas gaining more respect for niggas who in jail with them already. You know what's crazy about you know downhill, bro, is that it's so small. Look like everybody should know, like like you know, speaking on Slim, like just to piggyback off what you were saying. You know, I thought people. You know, and I don't know if Slim felt this way about himself, but I just thought that people love him so much that a nigga wouldn't even want to, like, it, you know, it's just like not Slim. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just thought that's how people feel because he was a cool nigga and, uh, you know, he had did his little street shit and he was past that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I just thought that a nigga wouldn't even, uh, you know, want to fuck with Slim like that because I just thought the city loved him that much. I'm talking about every nigga. I ain't think they had a nigga here, especially a street nigga. Like, you know, maybe a square or whatever. I don't listen to no square. Right. You know, they don't know him like that before. It's every street nigga. I thought all street niggas felt like, you know, we going to protect him. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I, you know, the way Slim moved and the way he fucked with people, I just thought, you know, that he might have felt that same way too, man. Niggas love me here. This is my city. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I see that in... Other little young rappers that move around, like, in the streets, they just feel like it ain't going to happen to me here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas respect me a certain kind of way, not knowing they got a nigga that don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying, dude? Like, for you and, you know, if money get involved or anything get involved, you know what I'm saying? Hate, you know, the hate that they got for you, it can happen to the, the best of us. Like, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, because I'm from over here, and I might just don't... Don't got the eyes or the connection or whatever happened and made this nigga so relevant to the whole city. I probably don't even got that if factor or that shit to make me, you know what I'm saying, in the public eyes to get that respect. But I'm still on the back street doing my shit and I'm that nigga. Right. So I'm a number one nigga that'll be like, fuck that nigga. Right. Cause I want, I, I want to be recognized like that. Cause right. I am living. The same. the same way, right? But, but I, I just, just don't know. Yeah, people just don't know me like that, right? Right. And that w that's what it be. So that's why Nick. Once a nigga get to the point to what every nigga love me, nigga already lost. Cause I was always taught just coming up from a young kid, nigga. For every one nigga that love me, you got to times that by ten for the niggas that hate, hate you. you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And, and, and the, that's the hate always overpower the love. I don't give a fuck what you into. You could be fucking you 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 could be fucking fixing transmissions. For every one motherfucker mechanic that say that nigga good, that nigga fuck with you. They got ten niggas yes. trying to make you go out of business. Right, they, they want to eliminate you. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Right, you got to remember that. Right, came like that as a kid. I just think you get caught up in. You get so much you get love, caught up you get in the love. Yeah, you get blinded. Shit. You get blinded by Facts. the love, and Facts. And, and, and the hate don't seem relevant. It don't seem like man, everybody fuck with me. Like you know what I'm saying? And. You know, and, and, and your team make you feel like that a little bit too. Man, they ain't fucking with us. Like, you know, now they putting us in it. Like, I got your back. I'm, I'm, I'm riding with you just like you. And, you know, you go to feeling in, like invincible. Like, man, they ain't going to fuck they with me. Like, not yeah, fuck yeah, with I, got, me. I got 10 of me around me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just me. I got 10 niggas around me that feel the same way I feel. And it, it, it takes for you to die sometime to find out, man, I ain't had one. You know what I'm saying, bro? I ain't really have, like, really one like that. Like, you know, for the most part, you know, nigga might, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm just vaguely speaking, but, you know, I'm quite sure they got one, two, three niggas that really, really, you know, uh, uh, put their life on the line for you, but it don't be as many as that's around you that make you feel that secure that you can move how you move or do whatever you're doing because, you know, they gas you up to a level of feeling like, I feel like I'm that nigga and all of them feel like I'm that nigga too and nigga ain't gonna fuck with me. And that's right why, and that's why... Real niggas go to war. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, we just as real as you, bro. We, right. we, we in this motherfucking hood thinking the same way. I got 20 of these niggas around me. Niggas not gonna fuck with me. Then I got these niggas in this hood feeling the same exact way, dog. And everybody feeling like, man, I'm gonna go farther than him. Right. 
You yeah, know what I'm saying? You gotta believe that within yourself. Yeah, right? I'm gonna go farther than him. Them niggas not as real as me. And that's what two real niggas go to war. That's why niggas be telling the nigga, man, you ain't gotta know if I'm real. You ain't gotta know nothing about me. Judge me off my enemies. Right. When you judge a nigga off their enemies, well, I don't know, dude, but his enemy is them niggas. Yeah, you he know like that. that. Yeah, you know what he into. He like that. Right, right. You could judge him off. Yeah, right. The niggas that he beefing with, you could tell. What he into? That's what that, that that's that's the saying from a, from an old nigga. Right. Judge you ain't got no nothing about me. Judge me off my enemies. If you know them niggas and you know them niggas, because niggas not going to war with them niggas if you not like this. Right. Right. You just not like right. It just it's, it don't happen. Right. You know, like you you ain't even trying to bone pace with them kind of people. Like you know what I'm saying. If you know you ain't built a certain kind of way, you know it just don't happen. Hey, listen. <laughs> We 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 gonna, we gonna dissect this bitch because this 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 man you talking our shit and I had time to think about some of that shit that Fresh was saying like I I I got a whole another level of respect for Jay Z dog from you know just fucking with Fresh in the podcast last week well you know uh, yeah. Tuesday you know what I'm saying when 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 that nigga said he was going through a little situation and. Even even Katrina hit and shit. Like, them dudes, them dudes way from New York. Right. Like, they can't have that to do. And, 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 and what make it more real to me, bro, nigga know I was about to dip. I'm dipping from Def Jam. Right. That's like, but I'm going to secure you I'm a spot you, I'm gonna throw you alley -oop. before I leave this bitch. So if I leave this bitch or not, you locked in. Yeah, you good. You 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 about to get a bag. That's the most really shit ever. I'm right. not even here to benefit off the off lock in. Of, yeah, off the lock. I just wanted to do that for you. That's that's that's, that's sincere, bro. That's why I was glad he spoke on fact. that. Yeah, I'm glad he spoke on that. It, it kind of like let you know, you know, the caliber of a person, you know, because you, you hear a lot of bad stuff about, about Jay-Z, like, for right. us, why he didn't do this or do that, you know what I'm saying? But then for him to mess with somebody that's outside, he ain't from New York, none of that, and he still took Cam, that say a lot about, you know, the character of respect, if he respect you. You know what I'm saying, dog? You know what I'm saying? So whatever problems that dude might have had, you know, those problems, those things could have went left because he lost respect for the particular person that he had a problem with. Like, you know, for his business didn't go right with whoever, that dame, whoever. It was like somewhere in their relationship some respect had got lost. Like like to some degree. Because if he could do that for another person, that go to show you that I ain't just a fucked up dude. Like, you know, people right. make me look you know, how they make me look. Like I ain't really him. So we don't really be knowing the inside. That make you dissect a little bit more of like it have to be some other shit that's going on besides just he just a foul nigga or he a selfish nigga because niggas always paint Jay Z as a selfish type dude. He ain't want him. He ain't want to fuck with this one. Blah 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 blah. I did this. I did that. But at the end of the day, nigga threw an ad hoop to another nigga. Like made sure he was good and and and, and he ain't in this camp. He ain't nowhere around. Like you said, he ain't benefiting off him at all. So. That, that's still a lot about a nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Those are real so hat, big dog hat, shit. Hats off to fucking Jay-Z for that one, like, for that move, like, you know what I'm saying? I think they need to highlight more of that, you know, we, we, we quick to slander, you know, people, like, you know what I'm saying? But we very seldom hear, like, some good shit that a nigga did, you know what I'm saying? So I was, I'm kind of glad that Fresh, like, spoke on that, that side, because it, 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 you know, it, it shed lights that niggas do you know, look out for niggas and, and help niggas like that. That kind of give us hope. That's that one percent. That's that little percentage that you said right, right, right. that I talk about. But I was glad that you know somebody got to speak on it and benefited from it. Like you know, e, 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 and I don't want to overlook that. And I probably should have said that first, but it don't matter. Just just fresh coming through and fucking with a nigga. That's that's that same level of respect that I, I I'm saying I got that G, for G C that DC had. For him, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because he ain't had to come through and yeah. fuck with a nigga. And I'm saying it even more to the extent, like, judging the nigga off that music and just hearing the shit that a nigga hear about people, it's more like it make you, because you, really, you, you don't really know him in physical form. So it make you judge the book by its cover because you're never going to get to meet this person. So all you got is to go off... The music, some of the story that you didn't heard. And I'm saying that another level of respect because the type of nigga he was conversing with 
in the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, real talk. Man, that nigga down to earth, cool ass yeah, nigga. Yeah, Ain't yeah. all camera shit that nigga was. Yeah, t- yeah. I'm like, man, I wish I could have met this nigga a long time ago. You know right. what I'm saying? But, you know, sometimes, you know, also people get humbled by the by, by, by their situations. Like, you know, sometimes you got to go through some things and, and it makes you better. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Because, you know. Get this right here every Facts. Thursday Facts. and be sure to subscribe. Fresh Pilot wasn't the dude that we met. That, that, that we talked to the that you know the other day, back then like you know he probably he he probably had to grow into that person like you know what I'm saying even when we was just asking him about situations with baby like with him being, um you know you know one of the questions we asked was like damn bro you felt like you was a partner from the outside I always looked at fresh as a partner because of how he was tied in with being exclusively only could work with cash money, meaning he wasn't going outside. You know, when them doing the big times with baby, I'm thinking like, fuck, he, 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 he you know, if, if they got three big dogs over there, it's fresh, it's baby, and it's, it's slim. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when dude was like, he, he had to raise his head up and see that he wasn't, you know, because I always thought it was on the same level. Like, I always looked at it like, you know, fresh go, I mean, your boy go get a Bentley, Fresh getting a Bentley, you know, he got a house, Fresh got a house, but Fresh was like, he raised his head up and found out that, you know, nigga getting way more than what he got, like, you know what I'm saying? I never saw it that way, never looked at it that way, so I know that had to be heartbreaking to him to a degree to be like, damn, like, I, I feel like I'm equal with y'all, like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we coming together to, you know, we got to, you know, because he started with the dream with them from the beginning, like, you know what I'm saying, out the gate, first artist, whatever, like, you know what I'm saying, it was, it, it, he was in the picture, so, you know, for the wake up and find out, like, damn, bro, like, you know, y'all look at me as, it's us and, 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 and you just a producer, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, that had to be heartbreaking to do, like, to that degree, like, you know what I'm saying, to uh have to swallow that shit and, and, and still step from there, like, you know, um you know, I think that was, like, you know, Big of him, like, to still stand for, like, you know, my rights, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to fight for what I think is mine. Like, you know what I'm saying? He had to go through all that shit. And I think that alley hoop that Jay-Z gave him, gave him enough leverage to kind of, like, still have his capital up to kind of, like, go to war with, you know, for us to fight for what he, what, what he needed to get from cash money. Like, I thought that was big. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I think, you know, that's how God worked, bro. He put things in your, in, in your life to, to kind of help you. You know, on your course, like you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, I don't think if if Jay Z probably wouldn't have did that situation for, uh, for 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 man at the time, I don't think he would have been able to go to court and keep fighting with Baby and them, like because Baby and them had longer money to a level where it's like Big Bang take Little Bank. I can keep pushing the lawyer off, off, off another year, another six months, another. You know, and I dealt with that a little bit when Juvie was kind of like. You know, fighting for his, like, you know what I'm saying? It was almost like, man, them lawyer fees, like, become crazy, like, to a level where I ain't gonna pay to be able to go to the duration of the time with this dude because they, they, they got the bigger lawyers that can kind of keep putting that shit off until you run out of money. Or, uh, you know what I'm saying? You just can't compete with them to, to fight thing. for them. Yeah, to fight for them. And that's what, that's what the big wigs do, you know? And, you know, it's just, Fucked up because them dudes had a dynasty, like, you know, and you would have never thought that it would have got destroyed the way that it got destroyed over, you know, money or shit like that. I thought that was that was kind of, like, crazy. And I'm glad he spoke on that, you know, and kind of explained to the people, like, what he had to go through, you know, during that time. Because nobody really, fuck, we on the outside, we don't really know what's happening, like, you know what I'm saying, within the, in, in, right, in right, the camp. Right, 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 you right. Know? The, the one thing that... Fresh said that it made me look at it from that perspective, even though it's hard to. When a nigga was talking about the sound of New Orleans, like, nigga, when he was saying, like, the sound is. Because that's a big talk. Like, it, it, that always been a talk, and that's always gonna be a talk. But literally, right now on social media, from the people in New Orleans, that's that's the talk as today. What the fuck is New Orleans sound? And I always thought that it was a way a nigga was rapping, a nigga flow, a nigga patterning, a nigga lingo, and the shit that he's saying. You know what I'm saying? But 
coming from fresh from a producer side of it, he like a gumbo pot, meaning the beat. A little East Coast, a little West Coast, a little that with it. And, you know what I'm saying? You put all that shit together and like niggas Orleans. not doing it, and that's New Orleans. New right. I, I think the beat play a part, but, you know, you can always get that perspective from a, a, a producer. If a producer going to talk, he going to be like, it's the beat. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you talk to an artist, he going to say, it's the lyrics, it's the lingo, it's the shit you talking about that make it New Orleans. I'm talking that New Orleans shit, you know what I'm saying? And I think, you know, when you put it together as a song, that's what make make it New Orleans. I think they both play a part with with, with making something sound like but, a, a, but, a sound but, from New Orleans. But it is is like I say, it's hard to digest fresh saying that. But we 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 can't just say from a producer side because he is a producer, but. It's a little more than him just being the producer, meaning he was a nigga who, a master producer, super producer, that really made millions off the shit that he telling the nigga. So a nigga got to take kind of take, take he more to what he's saying than the artist and the rapper because he a nigga sitting here that made millions off the shit that he telling the nigga that's the song. No right. matter what a nigga won't believe, because my my own logic is the rapper way. So, so, you know what I'm right. saying? So, so we'll we, we give uh, validation of what he's saying is this: if Beyonce do a song, oh my single lady, you know, people say That's, they still in New Orleans shit. Like you know what I'm saying? You know, like like she's not sounding like she's from New Orleans, but the beat and the way it's bouncing and the way that, that, that the cadence that they using in it is a New Orleans like vibe. Like you know what I'm saying? Or uh, you catch Megan and Stella, you know, somebody like that using what we consider a bounce vibe here. Like you know, I'm just gonna use the bounce thing because that's like known to be New Orleans thing. So when you hear somebody doing something like that. They don't talk like they from New Orleans or they're not saying New Orleans lingo, but they, they, they got the, the, the beat is, is, is what they, that's what make everybody say that's New Orleans. They biting, they taking shit from New Orleans. Some shit be the lyrics, like, you know, uh, uh, it must be your ass because it ain't your face. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hear shit like that, you're like, that's New Orleans all way, all, all day because they come from what we consider bounce, like you know what I'm saying? Bounce artists been using that like that type shit. You know what I'm saying? When Nelly did what he did, everybody was like, You took that shit from New Orleans, like, you know what I'm saying? Um uh, what's your boy named Lil Duval? Like some of that shit was uh do it, baby. You know, like all that shit is New Orleans, like and that's lingo. Like so that's why when I was saying it, it could be used both ways, it's because that's 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 New Orleans. Like whether we saying it in, in a certain way or a certain lingo, it, it's a New Orleans thing. If you hear a certain kind of Beat and it's going a certain way. That's New Orleans thing. So that's that's why I say it's it, it's the lyrics and the the the, uh, the music that make New Orleans sound like you know what I'm saying at the end of the day. You know, but if, you, if, you, if, you, but you get my point no, on what I'm trying right, to say. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I got a question. Like, how how did a nigga get that song? Two part question. How a nigga get that song and how a nigga re Create how a nigga create a new sound, so nigga not just just glue and just in the box to just the sound that they had as growing up in the city. Like we said about the other situation, like niggas was fucking nine, ten years old when that was the sound, and they coming up another way and they listening to other shit and they hearing new shit and they and, and they coming with their own rhythm and their own cadence and patterns and shit. So, how do a nigga create another sound for that still be New Orleans sound? Because these dudes have a whole nother sound. We can't just keep, uh, you know, bashing them for rapping another way or getting another type of beat. Yeah, right. Saying they're saying not sticking to the sound because that, that was that sound then, bro. Like, how how a nigga create a new sound? But, but how a nigga got that first sound and how a nigga create another sound? What I think uh, how a nigga got the first sound <clears throat> was like uh, like what Manny was saying that they took the the trigger man like a, a a drag rap or whatever you know what I'm saying he looped it and nigga just start doing New Orleans little whatever on it like meaning like the, the, the bounce shit or whatever they was doing at the time because they had, you know when I was coming up they had rappers UNLV was rapping to me like you know what I'm saying I wouldn't consider them like no bounce group like you know what I'm saying right, right, they, right. they was rapping but they still was rapping over those type of uh 
you know, cadence and, 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 and vibes of that level. But like 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 Manny say, it's the gumbo, it's the mix. You know, we we home of jazz. So when they come on with, with back that ass up zoom, mm, 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 like you know, like that was like that's 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 like jazzy type a jazz vibe, like you know what I'm saying. So when you add that on to some 808 beats and things of that nature, it, it's like, oh, that's New Orleans because New Orleans is known for certain things. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I said before, it was rap who was known for jazz. Like you know what I'm saying. So if a, if, if a producer take a jazz sound and mix it with some 808 beats, it's it's, it's got a New Orleans thing to it. Like because New Orleans is known for jazz. Like you know, but I think all this. Uh, of today, uh, to, to, to create a new sound will mainly be like use what we still got from New Orleans, but do your own thing with it still. Like you can still mess with the uh, the, the, the 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 drum kicks and stuff differently, but you know you still add a little bit of what New Orleans is known for mm-hmm. to make it New Orleans sound. Like you know, uh, West Coast got a sound. You know, you hear that boom, uh, like that that boom. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of like a rhythm that they use, but it's like where they do the crip walk and shit on it. Like that's their little sound. You go to DC, they got a go go vibe. Like you know, New York was known for boom tap, but what's going on now? And I always gotta credit this to social media. People starting to follow what whatever is trending and hot. Meaning if Atlanta is got 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 the juice right now because they they call this they sound trap. You know what I'm saying? They're like we got like these beats are trap beats. Like you know what I'm saying? And you'll hear people say, "I don't just want to rap on a trap beat," but a trap beat is known to come from Atlanta. So when them having a sound and winning, everybody around the world started just trying to make the exact same thing that they hear from that area, which made it like damn near nobody got a sound. You know what I'm saying? Like like when you look at it, every sound sound like Atlanta. I don't care if they coming from you know. Pop smoke, whatever. Like them dudes sound all like they from Atlanta. They don't sound like they from New York. It's not the original New York sounding type beats. Like you know what I'm saying? Or you know, uh, Miami had bass. You know what I'm saying? They had the bass shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you hear a rapper rap from uh, Miami now. He ain't using no bass elements in his songs to give it. You know, it all sound Atlanta. Like you know what I'm saying? So I think that to to make music get back to you know like the, like they call the 90s the golden era is that we got to go back to our areas or and start implementing that stuff like yeah you know but I, I i get it bro because if 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 five niggas go right you know what i'm saying and three niggas got to the finish line and two didn't from going right and we seen 20 niggas went left, and all 20 niggas got to the finish line. Damn, it's logic to go left, bro. Go left. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's like, it, it, it's not fucking just making uh, sense to a nigga who trying to rap, and it's easy to, to tell you to start doing everything the niggas did that went left, bro, because that's the, that's the proof that, shit, more niggas that went left, that they got to the finish line. Five niggas went this way and only three. You know what I'm saying? Right. Less niggas went this way and it's only three niggas and everybody went this way and they winning. So that shit'll fuck with your mind. Like fuck a sound, fuck all that shit. I'm trying to go where them twenty niggas win that where, where to, 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 to win. Right. So I get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. I I I I get it. I understand it. It's just that we done lost that that. You know, that's a West Coast or this a East Coast or this. Like we just lost. That. I don't even think that. That's what I'm saying. I don't even think they got that no more. Where it even it even matter? Because that's what Fresh said, man. We letting any nigga in. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop, but shit, nigga just fall in the bag and they get in the bag. Right. Somebody allowing that to happen too. You know, like and like I think what? I think that's what he was saying. Meaning, like we let anybody in hip hop. Meaning they sign anybody. You know, they they're not going. They're not. It's not built off the same thing it once was built off. It's more like, you know, he sound like fucking little baby, little baby one. Let's put a bag behind him, like you know, like that's that's where the game the winner. That's why. That's what I thought. That's what I took from when he was like, we just let anybody in, meaning like they don't have to have a skill level or nothing like that. They just got to have a vibe that already been working, and we can just keep running it, like because the people who's making the most money off hip hop don't care about. You know, Facts. Facts. Yeah, they don't care Facts. about like they didn't, fuck. I don't give a fuck where he from. He sound like the nigga that just won, and that makes the game become like so. They starting to, they steering it that way because they the ones who putting the bags behind it to make it get to where it's at. So that's what's making everybody have to fall, you know, in, in line of that. Like you know, when at one time it used to be like, you know, 
we looking for a West Coast artist, like, you know what I'm saying? Or we looking for, you know, and they had, like, Diamond, like, you know, the West Coast was running it at a time, or the East Coast was running it at one time. It, it, it ain't like that. Like, people would be like, Memphis got their little sound right now. They starting to come up. I'm like, shit all sound the same to me. I don't, I don't see what y'all saying. You're like, oh, Detroit got their little sound, like, or, 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 or the Bay got their little sound. I'm like, that shit all sound the same. It, I don't see nothing, no different. Producers is, you know, niggas send their, their music, to get mixed and a nigga taking all these stems. Like meaning like you it, it, back back when when we was first coming up, niggas was making their own little sound, like tweaking shit. I'm out to put like you know, like for instance KLC. KLC had made a certain kind of bass that was nobody had. And I heard this story through somebody that was explaining it to me, like how Atlanta got uh got no limit uh eight oh eight shit. Like, they, you know, they was doing a song for somebody. I think it was Lil John or somebody. And they was like, man, send me the session so that I can uh, get this bitch mixed. He sent, sent the session and they just took all his... His 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 his, his um his um drums and shit and start using it their way like or whatever. So we used to have that shit where you you you, you couldn't you couldn't take it because we was doing all the mixing and things like that. But once that shit got scattered around and people start sharing shit and giving niggas this and that, that shit just became like everybody had it. You didn't have no an exclusive that that made you what you was like. You know what I'm saying? That's why like a person like Dr. Dre, you not fucking with my shit. I'm mixing this. Like I send you the beat mixed already You're not getting this bitch to, to break right. it down And get what you need to get And I just think once people started opening up That's a part of me Taking in what, what Fresh was saying as well That we just letting anybody in to that degree too Because we just loosely sending shit around When it wasn't like that at one time So that's why nobody have nothing that they could say That's me You know what I'm saying Because everybody got it now Like you know what I'm saying you know, Why it's Why? Different. Why? This, this, this some shit that I know that Man, we could talk all day about this because it's some real shit. Like, we always say, and it's the truth, that people love. Oh, but but but, but let me say this. Because it's kind of a crazy question. Like, you, because the people is inside New Orleans, but you think the outside people, they love the people from New Orleans? Or they love the shit that they could do when they come to New Orleans? I think I think they I think it's both, bro. I, I think I think they you know they love the people from New Orleans, I, I, and I think I spoke on this before about. No, that's good enough right there, because that's what I, that, that's kind of like what I wanted you to say that they <laughs> love they love the people that come from this bitch, but the people who from here don't love the people that's here. Right. You that's, know the big, that's the biggest problem, like you know. What like, saying, I don't I think understand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't I think understand we take, cause, that because we take us for granted, bro. Like you know, Facts. we take Facts. us for granted. We round us every day. Ain't nothing unique about it. That's what I'm getting at. It's, it's not unique. It's like, oh yeah, you know, we talk the same lingo. He just, you know, it's it's just we all you 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 can't see outside of it because you in it. Right, that's what I want. Yeah, but you can't see outside it. So when you somebody like when you go somewhere else and somebody looking like man, nigga from New York, like it's, it's unique now. Like you talk different, you all that. Like it, it, it's something they gravitate to on that level here. Everybody talk that way, so it ain't nothing to gravitate to. So that's why we take it for granted. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like breathing. Like nigga, nigga, nigga don't even second guess it. It just happened. Like you know what I'm saying? And that's how New Orleans. Like, uh, look at New Orleans. Like, it's, it's nothing special about it. Like, I, you know, when people, we used to go out of town and people say, say baby and label and all this stuff. I'm like, fuck baby, label. It, it, you know, it was nothing special about it. But to them, they're like, say it again. Say it again. When I went to Southern Man, them females from up top, all they wanted to hear was, they just wanted us to talk. That's your boy from New Orleans. Say, you know, come here. You come over there. They just want to talk. They just want to hear your lingo, like, and they loved it, like, you know what I'm saying? But to to, to the guys that was from the world, they're like, it was crazy. Right. And, <laughs> and, 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 and I think also, bro, it's, it's like the inside vibe that you get from being, from being from here that you know the snaky shit, the cutthroat shit, the animosity shit, and shit that'll go left, and you know you can't really trust niggas and... and the outside people, they, the shit that they green to, that we alert to all the way. And that's why I can't get close to this nigga. And I can't get close to him that the people from the outside naive to. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's why I so think... So we can't buy this the right exactly, way. Exactly, because it's so much shit that happened in that's my real. neighborhood. There's so much shit that happened in your neighborhood. And you way from across the canal somewhere. And I'm from Harvard, but the same type of shit has happened inside these neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. So, well, it's just like you grew up in my neighborhood. Because I'm alert to you, bro. And you're looking at me the same type wait, of way. Right. And that's why we can't, can't come tr- together. Yeah. We can't trust each other. Because <laughs> you going to get me. And I'm thinking... I'm moving a certain type of way so you won't get me. And, right. I, and you're doing the same thing. It, it's like a magnet. This shit crazy. Like, it's like a magnet. If you take a magnet and you put, you know, try to put it together like when, like they both the same, like meaning like positive on positive, you try to, that bitch ain't gonna never, you know what I'm saying? You can't never make them lock up together because the energy like between them is, is the right, same right, thing. Right, like right, it's right. like, I feel the same way you feel so it don't work. Like it don't, it don't, it don't, it don't blend, it don't bind. You go that bitch right. fucked up. You know, it don't blend, it don't bind, so uh, it, it just never, it, it never worked. Like you know what I'm saying? But you get somebody like you, you, you flip that, you flip that magnet around, that bitch lock in like this. You know, like face on face, like you know what I'm saying? That's how it is out of town. It's almost like they, they, they didn't, they not, they don't have the same energy that you might. The, the area that you come from Like you know You go out of town They can be like I can let my head down on here Like you know what I'm saying I don't feel as threatened You you still on game Cause it's just a part of you But if nobody ain't giving you Nothing to feel snaky around You feel a little bit more like Yeah it's, it's cool Like you know what I'm saying You know because of The environment you coming from like. Yeah I say I say all that <laughs> shit To make it go full circle To the point that we was making About the music Right and that's that's the number one reason why I think when the people made it and make it from here, the big people, that's why they don't reach back to down down here because you 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 the same type of way that I just was Left. explaining. I try you know to get saying? away from that. I'm trying to get away from that. And you gonna fuck around? I can't trust you niggas because you fuck around and snake me and get me hit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather take my chances from. Fucking with so, somebody so, somewhere Somewhere that I'm naive to Cause I don't get that picture From them niggas Right You know what I'm saying And that's why I think It's hard for a nigga To get up out this bitch With music bro Plus With that right there alone that, That'll hinder a lot of niggas From making it You know what I'm saying If they was looking for The higher up niggas Who made it To, to come back. back and snatch to them back, You know what I'm right. saying You just counting on that That, that that's, that's dead Yeah that's dead Also when you factor in, these niggas are probably fuck with me under a few conditions. And one of the conditions is if I could benefit off of you by you having the numbers. You heard me to say, man, this nigga good. He got numbers. He's doing his shit. I know how hard that city is. We made it, but I, we made it up out that bitch through so many motherfucking connections that we right, had right. to motherfucking get to even get to this other side, to even get to priority, to even get to fucking universal, right. and to get to big boy, like all the shit that we didn't fucking dealt with to even get, get to, over here. Right. This nigga probably got something if he making it do what it do. Without nobody and getting numbers. That's probably under one condition that we could go fuck with this nigga. Right. But it's so hard to do that down here. That's why most niggas that's rapping down here, just being real, don't have numbers. I don't give a fuck how much money they got, how nice they feel that they can fucking rap. Majority of this city don't have numbers. Majority of this city won't get booked for shows because the producer, I mean the promoter, can't profit a bag offer giving this money, this nigga money to book you for a show. You right. see what I'm saying? So you think? Uh, hold on, check me out. So you gotta have numbers. The eyes against the nigga for to get the numbers by how hard this shit is. Cutthroat, competitive city. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. From the shit that we talking about about the magnet, niggas can't come together. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to get the numbers. So then you looking like damn. I thought that's why I needed you to help me get the numbers. But on that end, no, we can't fuck with you without the numbers. Yeah, right. But I thought I needed you so you can help me get the, the numbers. numbers. Right. That's so the whole reason I'm trying to. If I get the numbers by myself, what I, I need, need you for? Man, right. Come on, man. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like the shit. Like I don't understand it. I need you saying this shit again. I need you to get the numbers. That's how I'm thinking as an artist. On the other side, a nigga who already made it, I'm looking like, boy, you got to get some numbers for me to fuck with you. How is it ever going to fucking happen? Unless a motherfucker who come that's naive to what's going on in the city and just heard it through music and stories 
to get a chance to right. you don't fuck with this nigga. Well, and that's why niggas ain't fucking with a nigga who made it down this bitch. You can see that. Right. Uh, my 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 thing on my theory on it is uh. And I always tell this to artists and just anybody. They like, what you think it take? I say a hit, bro. You know, everybody rapping, everybody making songs. I was just talking to Jay Austin about this today, bro. And I was telling them, I was like, look, bro, you you, you work with your boy Flag, uh, Flag Boy Giz, like you know. I'm like, dude, come from nowhere. Right now, you're getting booked on shows. I'm on, I do it on a lot of shows. I'm looking like, damn, this nigga, like, really starting to, you know, get booked, like, you know. But at the end of the day, he had a song that connected people, like, liked it, bought into it, and he working. Like, uh, uh, like and he's just a, 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 a new artist that just hit the scene out the blue. Like, it's the same thing, even we could look at Ride 49. We all say, it just was for him, it's the connection. It was the, but at the end of the day, he got something. Like, and it's showing, like, in, in the long run. Like, you know, I'm looking at dude doing, like, something he, he posted. I don't know if it was a, 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 a homecoming or whatever, man. People singing that bitch word for word for word. I'm like, man, they, it's a song. They like it. They connected with it. So, you know, I still think the recipe to success or, or getting out of here, whether you're looking for anybody to help you, is have a hit song, bro. Like, you know, because you rap don't mean you got a hit song. That's just, it, it's cool. Like, because your partners like it, that don't make that bitch, you know, really go there. And everybody be like, he nice, he nice, he nice. We, we talk about a zillion nice rappers. But tell me they hit song. Tell me the song that made everybody recognize them or where they should be recognized off of. And I think that's the biggest problem. Everybody want to rap. And I was telling, like I told, I told Jesse, man, you be doing these albums. I'm like, your focus should be on a fucking hit song. Focus on making a, a, a real banger, bro. Like, work on, on that side of it, and maybe you'll see some difference or you'll see some numbers or some things will start changing. And that's for any artist, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just make a, a, a fucking record that really connect, like, with, with, with people. And go back to the drawing board when that bitch don't stick. You know what I'm saying? When it don't stick, it, it, you know, people think, I got to have a lot of money. To I'm like, dude, some people don't have no money, like, you know, and they make a good song and that bitch just start going, people buying to it and, 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 and it creates money. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I know that you do need a budget to go further, but man, it start with a hit song. A hit song will get you enough leverage to even accumulate a little money to start investing in yourself the proper way like because now you know it's worth putting money into it money already coming to you a little bit it's not a lot of money but it's like damn people booking me for this bit i need to put some money behind it niggas be putting money behind shit that you know what i'm saying ain't sticking on the wall like you know what i'm saying nobody like it nobody know a nigga spending bags on trying to make that shit work and it just don't work a hit song will change the game for anybody that's in the entertainment business Hands down, you know what I'm saying but, to me. But 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 you that them people that you're looking for to come look for you, they, they they probably would come knocking at your door then. Like you know what I'm saying, they'll probably you know do it. We talked about this with Young Boy. You you, you love Young Boy, bro. You know what I'm saying, Young Boy. I don't think he had no bags behind him to to to, to get him out to get him started to make. Whoever signed him, sign him. Atlantic or whoever, like you know, it, it, you know those connects start coming to you. He Fee wouldn't have came fuck with no young boy if young boy ain't already was making noise on his own. Like, and I don't think he had no big person behind him putting no bag. I want. I wouldn't say gimmicks. I want because I don't want to use that word, but some shit something it, to stand out. Yeah, something to stand out. Certain antics and certain shit about a person that'll do it. Yeah, that'll help. You, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and and I'm saying that to don't let that shit misguide you and just thinking that a, 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 a hit record don't take no money, bro. No, it do take money, but... To even make that bitch a hit, the pe- like, like, nigga could recall whatever the fuck they want. The people make a, make the bitch a hit. And, and the, you need the money to come and play for the people... Too hit right. to say this bitch a hit because the audience is the people that make your song a hit. Not when you go in the motherfucking booth, son, and say this a this a good no, one. No, they gotta grab it. Like maybe yeah. it's gotta you you you, you gotta make something that feel a so you gotta have some type of money, bro. It, 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 it start with that, dog. You definitely gotta have some type of money. Even Flag Boy Gears, dog. You gotta have the song straight, and it grew on me because I ain't like it. When if you send that shit to me, I said that's bullshit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with shit like that. That shit grew up on. That shit grew up on me. I sing the whole fucking song now. We outside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. 
right, real talk. It's catchy, so, you know. So, so the people making a hit, but even the flag boy, I don't know his business. I ain't counting his pockets, but every nigga probably didn't want do ain't, ain't do them songs for free. Do them little mini clips for free. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Some of them for free. You know what I'm saying. Some of them people. Uh, you had to pay the radio for Wild Wayne to do a drop. You know what I'm saying? And do this and do that. So it definitely needs some money, though. You just can't go to the studio on your partner budget, $200 budget, and just think that's just what it is, bro. Listen, I was I was listening to... So I just to, don't want misguided, yeah, nigga, just no, thinking no, you don't need no, shit. No, I ain't saying that you don't need shit, but, 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 but I won't break down something. Fresh didn't talk about this on our particular podcast because we ain't go into it on it but it was just something I overheard him say on somewhere else that he was talking and it, and it was asking him like you know about the, the the UNLV song Dragon from the River and he was like man I made that on my kitchen table like in, in the kitchen with a full track blah 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 you know he had this, some studio equipment and made that beat or whatever the beat is like you know and that's what they was talking about they was like that beat was so hard you know he was like Juvie wanted to come to Cash money because he wanted that particular song. He was like, I want to be able to use that song. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what drew Juvie to want to even mess with cash money because of a beat that dude made in his kitchen. You know, so what I'm trying to say is like, you know, some of this stuff, like, you know, the, a lot of these success stories that you hear, people being came from nothing to getting to where they go. It, it, it's somewhere we got to climb with it, but it, it starts from some of the smallest elements and some of the smallest environments with no money, no budget, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And when it's good, bro, it's going to work itself to, to, to whatever. The money is going to start coming. People going to start talking about it. People are going to start saying, man, who is that? And, you know, some, some boy, somebody with some money going to be like, man, I want to put some money back. Like, no, it, it's, it's going to get created if it's a hit song. That's why I was just saying... If a you, good song. We, we misinterpreting a yeah, hit song. Yeah, yeah I'm saying... But the reason why I'm saying a, a hit is because people... You know, certain markets start gravitating to it. Meaning, like, if if you coming from New Orleans and you put a song out from New Orleans, and uh, people just start doing it, like the little dude OG Perkin, you know, he got like a little song he's joking around playing with, but it's going viral. Like, you know what I'm saying? Starting to like pick up. I've seen Rob Four Nine. Everybody like, you know, fucking with the song. Like, they just they they just doing um they doing stuff on their Instagram with that song and, and, and dancing and clowning and fucking around with it. I see dude performing it. I see people like fucking with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like I know just talking to the dude on the phone that it wasn't no big budget that he had behind it to kind of get it going. It's just it, it was a song that's, that that people bought into and it's working. Now the whole thing is that as it's working, money gonna start coming. Like you know what I'm saying? And you know that's what I mean by a hit. Like the people already didn't say we like that. We you, you put it out and they start saying they like it. It didn't. He didn't put no big budget behind it to make them like it. It's just that they heard it. They they bought into it. And that's what I call a hit song. So you go in there. You go in there to make a song, but you got to go in there and making a song that you feel like this bitch rolling. You like you can't just go in that bitch saying I'm gonna make a song like Lil Baby, and if they like Lil Baby song, I know they're gonna like this song. I think that's be the mindset of a lot of people. They try to duplicate something they already saw done. Like and we said this a million times. We don't want no more Lil Wayne's. We don't want no more ba- Lil Babies or whatever. We want a nigga to come with something else, like authentic originally from him yeah, and, 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 and do that and then we'll buy into it and if we like it then it's on like you know what I'm saying and I just think a lot of artists get caught up in what they seen happen already and ain't trying to like find a way to do something original for themselves to, to make people buy into them you know and, and, and the only reason why I say nigga need some money bro before that because yeah we we, we, we ain't talking about some people think when a, a, a certain person that's not just that big, big, big person that hear that shit and they can make something happen. Nigga think it shit happen right then and there because a few thousand people heard it. And nigga start saying that's a hit. They ain't a hit, bro. It take thousands and thousands and thousands of people to make a hit or get to the point to where these other people gonna come looking. Before Rob 49 got a deal I heard that shit because that was it was that mass amount of people that right. motherfucking heard it and I not taking nothing from dude and this why I'm saying that it takes some money to come in to start getting to the next level because you on side you on side me you said you talking on the phone with him you heard it you watching him you on, you, you seen four nine doing all that you sitting on side me. 
I don't know the dude you're talking about. Right. I never heard the song before. Check me out. Right. So that that it, it, it's not to the level to where right now it's a hit and the people will come looking for him. If a nigga ain't got no money, I'm sitting alongside you and I never I don't know the dude. Uh, I never heard the song. Right. I just know that it starts from that level to get money to get, get behind it. Like, you know, like some people think that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make an artist understand that sometimes you got to have something to make money come toward you or niggas want to put money behind you if you That's don't have fact. if you don't have no money. You know, a lot of people come in the game thinking that I'm. That the money is going to make a difference and a song don't be a jam. That, that's, that's, that's what I don't want them to get confused on because some people just think the money is going to make all the difference. No, they got a lot of songs that's whack, bro, that, they, they, that people trying to promote and push and nobody buying into it no matter if you put Two hundred thousand a million dollars on it. People are like that shit whack. Like they just don't like it, bro. And then they got some songs. Like I said, I, that's why I used OG Perkin because it's like he coming out the thing, just fucking off, just doing something, and it's starting to get a little legs under it. Not that it's big to a level where everybody in the world know it yet, but no, it's starting to get some waves. It got more waves on that song than. Some other dudes that's been rapping, that's been dropping, like you say, on volume four, and we ain't never heard volume one. Those people. Like uh, crowding the game out with a, a bunch of shit and and feeling like I've been doing it for a long time or whatever, whatever. It ain't, the whole thing is that you don't have a song that's resonating with the people, bro. You think you, gotta gotta, get it, it, you think you think if 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 a nigga got the money and they don't just take money because if a nigga looking for the people to come fuck with them or a label or something, is is at their discretion. Ooh. Like like saying what they like. You know, with the people who putting the money behind you? Yeah, like the label, like uh, Interscope, Interscope or anybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the the A&R, mm-hmm. the people who find the talent. You probably got, got, no, I'm saying to your point where you could just, you could have a straight song and use all the money and have all the money and it still don't work because maybe it's at Interscope discretion, the a and if... Cause, cause I didn't hear niggas, dog. Even people, even people that's really celebrities, they won't put out this song. But the NR saying put out this it's song, song right. and it's something with they fucking. Sometimes I guess more times it work from the song that they pick because they know. I mean, it's the some, one that you wanted. But sometimes they wrong. No, no, no. That's what I yeah, said. But for, but for the most time, they right. And that's why the people who got signed to them, they look, they go big. But the, the artists be mad because. You hear him on the interview, man. Fuck no, I ain't know that. I, I kept telling the nigga, man. Fuck no, that ain't the one. Right. But that's the one that they picked to go, and yeah. that's the one they put the fucking millions behind that made more millions. So that, I'm saying that to your point that you might have had it just as all right song, and you put two hundred thousand behind it, think you're gonna do something, and it don't because homie don't think that's the one you should go with. Right. That's why I'm, I'm saying that. That's why I'm thinking that. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Like. Fuck no, it ain't all about the money. Nigga right. need something to jam too, and also mean a nigga gotta nigga gotta let a nigga know, bro, that this shit just realistically, bro. Like the the don't matter how nice or how cold you think you is, bro. When it come to this music shit, they tell you they it's it's not a facade or no made up shit where multiple people tell you this the hardest business in the world, right? Because it's the eyes, you right. know what I'm saying? When you take you from out of Harvey or you from the sixth wall going up with every sixth wall in America, you know what I'm saying? Just speaking, you know, similarity. I'm, I'm just saying, not it's another sixth wall, but I'm just saying yeah. another neighborhood, neighborhood around the world, right? Them same fucking 4,000 rappers, just like we were just saying other, all camera the other day, not even a known city. Just a back street as you travel along the I ten, my nigga. It got forty rap, but that's inside that fucking hole back there. As you just go down the I right. ten, so it's the eyes, bro, of everybody in that neighborhood trying to do the same thing you trying to do in the six wall. That's why I nigga tell you, bro, that it's the hardest business. So a nigga got to state that the shit just not meant for everybody, bro. Yeah, it's not meant for everybody, and that's what that's why people just not making it. Like you know what I'm saying? That's um, the that's the that's 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 the reality 
the harsh when they be saying harsh, harsh reality, reality. That's right. the harsh reality of all this shit. It's just not meant for everybody to hit the lottery, bro. Right. Your grandpa been playing that motherfucker since you before you was born. He ain't hit it yet. Right. And he still go play. So right. I ain't saying give up because your papa still go to the shell and get a lottery. It's just like you still going to the studio, bro, and just making a song. The eyes is really against you with that shit. And that's just the harsh reality, bro. No matter if you got a good song, uh, money, bro, sometimes just not. It's just not, not for you, right? Not, that's 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 it's just real. not in there, bro. Right, it's just right. not in there, bro. It's not in the cards, huh? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even if you got a good song, other money, right? Sometimes it's just not in there for you to go to that level as little baby, a young boy, bro. Because it's so it, it, it's the eyes, bro. Them bitches, bitches hide money. And and this 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 something that uh you know since, since we you know we capping on fresh like that you said that it, it brought something to my mind. Fresh had said something about his partner, right? And he was like, you know, when we brought his name up, he was like. Yeah, bro, dude played a position with me like, you know, like he understood like it's you. Like, you know, he, he you know, he didn't get to a level where, you know, and I think that happens amongst friends a lot where, you know, everybody want to be in a spot like, you don't want to be in the spot and they don't want to give it to the person that deserve to be in the spot and just play their part from that, that, that position. Meaning like, listen, bro, it's for you. Yeah, I DJ and you DJ, you know, and you know, at the end of the day, they want you, bro, but you still my partner, so I'm going to stay here with you. I'm not going to get jealous of you because you're getting in the spotlight. I'm cool. I'm going to play my part. Like, if, if you need the bags brought in, you need, like, and everybody don't do that. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, they'll have a dude that's way cooler, and somebody might hear you rap, and you be like, you know, yeah, you nice, but you know your partner way cooler than you. You'll never introduce him to that dude, bro. Right. You'll never... Say you deserve it, and that's how y'all could really eat. Like y'all could really eat if people just stop playing their position and putting the right person in a, in the spotlight. Like, listen, bro, I rap, he rap, he rap, but do really the nicest one. So at the end of the day, let's get behind him, let's support him, let's not compete with him or try to you know hate on him or knock him, you know, because we know he nice, but at the same time we won't be in the same spot like that he in. Like it, that, that's 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 agreeing with you on the level of like it ain't for everybody, and then people should. Come to a realization within themselves to be like, it just ain't for me. I tried this bitch a few times, but my little partner way cooler. We need to support him, like get behind him. Yeah, yeah, that that's the logic behind it, and I'm glad you said that because from the other side, bro, it's hard to do that. It's not easy to do that. It's it, it's hard to do that because you come from the struggle, I come from the struggle, and. Probably that's how we probably met in the struggle. Most so, likely, you, you, you know what I'm saying. We from the same neighborhood. We didn't did stole cars together. We both came in the struggle. You know what I'm saying. So I know how hard your life is. You know how hard my life is. If I've been trying this shit so long and you've been trying this shit so long, I might know you nice, but it's nature for me to not do that because it's not easy and. You not gonna fucking take care of my son and my motherfucking wife. How I'm gonna take care of them if I get the chance? Then you, right? So I'm gonna turn you on. That's what niggas supposed to do. And it seems like that's the right thing to do. But I know you're not gonna be able to take care of me, and I'm not gonna be able to benefit as if it was me myself. Right. So even if I'm not the coldest. Shit, we come from the struggle, and I say the struggle, I brought the struggle part because shit, nothing been easy for a nigga. Right. So I I I've been working towards some shit over and over, getting a slap in the face. It don't work out. So let me try one more time before I pass it on to you. Because I'm trying to get my people about the struggle and turn them on to my partner. That shit might be something for me and you. Well, you could hit me off with a few bands, a few dollars, but you're not about to put my motherfucking son through college. You're not about to do this and do that. They shit that I'm thinking, I'm visualizing in my head that I'm going to do it if I get the money. Right. That's why it's not easy to do that. Right. I understand it's not easy, but, you know, it, it should make sense to... Oh, it definitely makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, like, to be like... To come back and get you and you put me in position. Put me yeah, in position. That's the yeah. shit that sound good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that should be protocol. But that's the cold shit. Mm-hmm. Like, put put it in paper, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get a contract, bitch. If I turn you on to this, man, you need to lock a contract in. <laughs> Since contracts is what make it real, we need to put this in contract. If I turn you on to this dude, you blow up, bitch. You got to give me... 
Five percent, not eight percent, not, yeah. not the code. Yeah, huh? <laughs> we just said not the code. Not just going. Yeah, not, no, <laughs> fuck the code. Your word don't mean shit no more, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that. Cause yeah. I'm that, taking that's been all proven. that. I'm taking proven. all this in consideration to turn you on. All this shit I just mentioned. Right. That well, I if could you lose out on. If, if, if that's where your mind at, let's lock it in. Let's put it on paper, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? I turn you on with this thing. It's almost like you know the, the greatest example of that was like Nelly. You know, Nelly got on with, you know, they, they, they came as the St. Lunatics. But niggas was like, we don't really want them. You know, same thing with G-Unit, the whole nine. We don't want G-Unit, we just want 50, like, you know what I'm saying? But being a real nigga to know, like, we're going to take the step back to go ahead and get it, and you're going to come do what you, you know, you, you're going to keep your word, that quote-unquote on um, the code. Right. You know, it's it's not that many that do that, but if you got a certain understanding with your people, that's why I say know who you're around because if you know you're around, you know what what, what it stands for. And you know, even though it's not the easiest thing to do, we still understand. Like they don't want us, so that's 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 already a given. Like you know what I'm saying? But they want him, man. One of us got to go ahead and go. And one of us gotta like go ahead and make that open that door up for for the rest of us to eat on, and that should be understood amongst y'all as partners. Like, listen, bro, your boy, you really nice, you know, like you really better than me. I know I rap, but man, you be killing the shit. And at the end of the day, we if you was in the forefront, I know we can get through the door. Like that should be something that's yeah, that was semi, that semi, that that that's semi the same thing, but somewhat different because you being chose. We, we, I was making the analogy as if you turn them on. If you turn them on, right? But I'm, I'm, I'm saying the turn on, yeah. yeah, the turn on is like you, you, you still being chosen amongst your partners as you really nice. Like I really know you, you can, you can go. And why not introduce dude to, to, to you to, to get us a situation to move on? Because fuck, I tried it with him, ain't working. I'm, I'm talking about after he done put in work. Like I tried it, we put it all my, oh, right, it's right, ain't really right. working. Man, my little partner, way co- like like it's like it's, he should be introduced on it because you don't you you don't got a shot and it ain't nothing happened. But you know, dude in this bitch making all kind of cold ass songs or whatever. Just turn them on, bro. And like I say, if it, if it's to a level where you feel like I don't want him to get the bag before I get the bag, I want to make sure my family, all that stuff that you said. Man, put put some paperwork in it, like you know what I'm saying, dude. I turn you on to this dude, y'all pop it off, bro. You know, just make sure I want to make sure I'm good. So let's 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 lock in something if it go that way. And, and this contract only work if it go that way. Fuck, if it don't go no other way, it ain't nothing to pop me off with. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Uh, just just since we still on the shit with Fresh, like not not just that we talk to all of them like uh personally. Fresh just one, you know what I'm saying, that we talk to. And you talk to Jewel from time to time. But as, as all of them went through their own situation, well, we can kind of speak on Jewel because Jewel went back, you know what I'm saying. Wayne, Wayne there, Turk, he outside, and Jewel be locked up, you know what I'm saying. I'm saying BG, Turk on the, BG locked yeah, up. Yeah, Turk on the outside and BG locked up. But uh, we talked to Fresh and Jewel, we went back, right? So we could kind of base it off uh, just – and then Turk had interviews and shit, and uh, BG been on the phone. We didn't see him shit on the phone, and Bird talk about him and shit. So it seemed like all of them got they, not even a vendetta, or like fresh person say he don't hold grudges, but all of them got this situation that shit happened. But you could tell that inside their heart, they all want to make it work. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right to. Do it again. What 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 you say if that shit never was to happen, where that shit would be at? And also, do you think the people who have came would would have had room to come and go full fledged like that? Speaking of Atlanta nigga, that's what we always talk about. Do you, did you think that it had room uh for them to even come through and steal it like that uh if all them niggas were still together like they would want to be which which where you see that shit at there it's hard to say because uh we don't know if they would have fell off with music or, or you know we we don't know like you know we don't I'm we, saying from the trajectory of uh, where they was uh, at uh, yeah. oh they had the ball like you know what I'm saying like you know I know they had some more years like more years that you know winning than when he got a when he broke up 
You know what I'm saying? Baby and them kept going because they 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 had the brand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, you know, cash money is a brand. Like, so they still had the brand. So they just added all this to that brand. Like, you know, it's almost like a burger. We got this new burger, you know what I'm saying, that we putting bacon on now. You know what I'm saying? People coming by because they fuck with McDonald's. Like, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, they still had the brand. So that's why they still like was winning when everybody else wasn't on the same level as the cash money, meaning the artists that left. Didn't do exactly the same thing like 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 with him. You know, Wayne did some great some some great things, but he still was cash money. Like you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like he was attached from the brand. So uh, if, you know, I know they would have had some more years of winning like as a as a whole because people love him. You know what I'm saying? And you know they was winning. They they, they didn't they didn't break up on a fall line like when when right, when, right, the, right. when the sound went down and nobody liked the cash money music no more. Now they broke up. No, they broke up. Up the, here, yeah, at the top, like so, you know, yeah, they had a lot of more years, like to still make a lot of more money together. You know what I'm saying? And you know, some some people wouldn't have had the room to do what they're doing when they broke up. That, that gave room to other people to come through and do what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? When when they had it on lock, they had it on lock, bro. People wasn't trying to hear nothing from nobody else. Like they they was making niggas suffer. Like you know what I'm saying? And then the way they had their sound connected to a level where they, they really wasn't letting the artists do features. They wasn't letting the producer do beat. You wasn't getting you wasn't getting that cash money. So yeah, they 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 was running. Like you know what I'm saying? Like nobody would have been able to touch them for another five ten years. Like for sure because they 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 had their own thing and nobody could get a piece of it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know that's why I said I was. That's that dynasty. That was that was a dynasty, though. They was doing something that the game had never seen. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you know, prior to P doing what he did, then he come right off of P back. He come fucking cash money doing what they doing. It was just like man, New Orleans. Like it, like New Orleans was wide open. Like you know what I'm saying. For a ride for they could have had it. They could have had the game on lock. All the way to Rob 49 coming still. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know. Ooh, that would have been cruel. Oh, that would have been sick, man. And, and, and how many more other artists would have came out of that, like, you know, you know, out of the mix of that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we'd have had the outlets to, to, to kind of put them in front of everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it went the way it, it, it went, and we got to find a new way to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the, the, you know, some people got to take some of those jewels that Cash Money had, No Limit had, and lock in and, and, and really and really put, put 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 some good music out here and, and, and make that shit work. You know what I'm saying? I think I think the number one thing, dog, a nigga got to stop just going to the studio and just visualizing the 50,000 sold-out shows before... They put the work in and they ever did a show or got a song to be able to fucking perform in front of 20 niggas. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Like niggas, niggas trying to skip to work, skip the well, work. I remember know? when, you know, when, when Baby and them first wanted to sign us and, and we went, met with them and he was kind of breaking down, like this, this where his goals was at. You know, he was saying, um, man, y'all from this area, y'all got the East. They from the third world. Like he knew, like, I, I got, I want to have enough artists to capture this city. Like that's where their mind was at. It was all. It was. It was about owning just where they was at. First of all, like like they wasn't thinking to the world like that yet. Like they was thinking like the first step to conquering something, we got to conquer this ground. So you know, I just like like it, it's just a. Go into what you were saying about people like wanting to just see fifty thousand and all that. No man, conquer the, the the smaller areas first. You know they 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 leave all this money that's in these little country spots that they don't even go touch. And that's people. And that's people that are gonna buy and come and do whatever. But they just jump and want. I'm going to Atlanta. I'm going to man. Them markets already sold up with them people that rap. Like like you know what I'm saying. So Facts. you can't go just Facts. jumping this Facts. shit Facts. thinking that you're gonna get in the mix that way. Go ahead and conquer your ground. There's a ground that you should conquer. You should be conquering the whole New Orleans. You should be trying to go to Baton Rouge, touch these people, go to Shreveport. You should be going down that, that, that line first to get all that first, and then you can kind of move on to the world. Because that's a lot of money that you're passing up thinking, you know, don't, I'm not telling people don't think big, but there are certain grounds that you need to cover before you can get that big. You know what I'm saying? So don't skip the steps. And there's some money on the way. It's money on the way. Don't skip the steps. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people like want to jump over shit and that's why they never know how certain people get there or, or, or got there. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's steps that we got to take. And, and I think that's the way, uh, artists can conquer things if they, they look at it for what it, you know, for what we're saying. You know, see the value in what we're saying at least. You know what I'm saying? And even if, you, even if you never get to that point, even 
picking up the little bags from these little cities. Even if you don't never get to the point of performing in the fifty thousand, shit, performing with three and four thousand for a nice period of time, you can make a living off that. You know what I'm saying? And as you working, shit, that shit gonna come mistakenly. Right, the big shit. Yeah, if you just time. keep, if yeah. you keep working, keep you ain't no nigga that's coming out the fucking studio trying to figure it out no more. You got a, you got traction to where you getting booked and you doing something. Right. So you almost there, but you definitely could live comfortably. You know what I'm saying? In in, in that room, like or running right. like that, right? Because they got so much money, you can still pick up. That you, if you focus on putting the work in and focus on getting motherfucking one thousand subscribers, getting one thousand a month listeners, you know what I'm saying, right. and then make your next goal to add two hundred with that, you know what I'm saying, and then your next song try to add another three four hundred subscribers and two hundred listeners and shit. Before you know it, you'll have fucking ten thousand subscribers and you'll have ten thousand listeners. You know what I'm saying, and then that's enough to pick up these bags. In the small towns that you're talking about, but niggas be talking about on the hottest in the city and don't got 500 subscribers, bro. Right, real talk. Um, you know, we just gotta like, uh, you know, take progress as it really is. Like, you know, I think people don't look at those small increments as as progress. Shit, like, you know what I'm saying? You I mean, can't get to fucking ten dollars without know. having two dollars. I know, but some people they don't because no, I know, they, I yeah, know. they mind be so like that's what they get frustrated and they get frustrated in the small steps in the process. Like you know, that's why they don't get to the end or get to the finish line of where they're trying to go at because they don't. You know, they, you know they say count count all your blessings. They don't look at that as blessings. They don't see those little fifty or hundred people that then started like buying into what they're doing as progress. Because they're looking for 10,000s to the 100,000s because they weighing themselves off of somebody else that's successful or what, where they want to be at. So it's looking like I ain't never getting to where they at because it's look like it's coming too small. But you got to count all that as progress. Like, man, yesterday I ain't have at least this many people and, 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 and move accordingly on that. So long as you're getting some kind of progress, keep, keep going where you're going at. If you ain't getting no progress, then you might need to think about, damn. And I think people don't set realistic goals. You know, I need to have this by six months. We trying to get this in about, you know, 10 months. Like, those goals will help you know where you're going or if you should quit. You know, some people do shit for five years facts, and they ain't facts, got facts. <laughs> no traction, no, no traction, nothing. nothing happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just think that's a big thing that uh, all this entertainers, business people, whoever, they, they got to take heed to that. Like, like to stick with it and keep moving forward or for seeing some type of progress. You know, And, and, and that's, that's good you say that. And that's how, this is how we get ended. Because this is, this, this is a Jew right here. That, that progress could happen if you repeat. The process that got you the progress. Talk that, talk that. Man, come on, Gas uh, is a philosopher. Are you a philosopher? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that boy, he was some philosophy on him just now. Say that, say that again. I don't I, know what I, I said. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. I don't know what say I said. it again. Let me hear, it, man. Say it to again. Get, to get to the progress, you gotta you gotta repeat the process. That got you the progress. Ooh. Stop playing. That's hard. Stop playing. That's you a hard. That's, that's a ball. <laughs> that's a ball. You did tell me you rap yeah, though. <laughs> yeah. You got to repeat the process that right. got you the progress. That's real talk. And right that's there. a juke because that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? We not going to have fucking every episode come out banging on numbers. Right. But we going to see what angle what we did. Woo, woo, woo. To get them numbers, hey, bitch, this is what they fucking with. This is what they feeling. We got to touch on that a little more. We right. got to go that route. Right. They, 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 they like us for this. They, right. like, they don't like when we do, do that. that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll hit you back. And then that's that real shit them niggas talking about. Right. And then we going up again. Right, right. We might miss them for a week. Right. But we going to hit them in the head. Right. Continuously. Yeah, being consistent. You know what I'm like, saying? Yeah, right. Before that week come again, that they don't fuck with it. Right. Cause we just repeating the process that got us to progress. There's no rap cap podcast. <laughs> That's real talk. <laughs> if you don't understand that, you need to go reflect you right now. Put you in the corner, you little bitch. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We fucking around, man. That's some real shit, bro. Every Tuesday, every thirty to seven p.m., man. Hope y'all enjoyed this podcast once again. Uh, every Tuesday, every Thursday, man. Go by gas to hate them, man. I'm Mister Mean of the Instigator. You already know what to watch. Watch this. Don't watch that other shit. Yeah. Boom. 